Hi, I'm Tony Anscombe from AVG Technologies. This is an AVG Academy video, and today we're going to look at how to install AVG Protection. AVG Protection includes AVG Internet Security and AVG Zen. Go to the AVG website, www.avg.com, and select Protection. The product will download. There's some instructions here on what to do while it downloads or, or once the file's on your machine. And once it is, let's start the installation process. So as you can see, the first AVG Zen screen we see is a welcome, where we can select our language and we can agree to our end user license, privacy policy, etc., and agree and install. Some Windows messaging comes up asking me about uh, whether I'd like this application installed. Of course I do. I've clicked yes, and now it's installing. Once Zen has finished downloading, what you'll see is it asks me to create an AVG account for my Zen network. Um, I already have an account, but if you don't, just enter an email address in here and put in a password and click on create an account. So as you can see here, AVG protection is automatically downloading and is being installed on my machine as well as part of the AVG protection suite. So as you can see, protection is nearly installed here. If you've got a mobile device, an Android device, that also needs protection, why not add that to your Zen network now and send it an email so you can download the AVG protection products uh, onto that mobile device. I can click on add an Android device and continue and just put in the email address of the email account that the mobile device receives on. And there we are, an email has been sent to that device and you can see it's in my network now as pending. So coming back to the machine that we're on now, as you can see, it's nearly fully installed the protection. It's at 99%. And there we are, the protection has finished installing. As you can see, I've got full identity protection here, and I've got a complete green circle in my Zen interface. If I click on the protection, it will open AVG Internet Security. And as you can see, I have full green circles showing that I'm active and protected in every component installed. So now back at my Zen dashboard, what I want to do is add my Android phone into my Zen network and add AVG protection to that too. So I'm going to click on the plus button here, tell it to add an Android device, click continue. I'm going to put in the email address that I get my email on the phone, so it sends me an invite. So now we've sent the invite to my phone. As you can see, there are other things in my AVG Zen account already. So I have a Dell laptop and a MacBook Pro. So if I look at the MacBook Pro, I've got this red circle around protection. And that's because actually I've disabled the protection on my MacBook. To show you the power of Zen, what I'm going to do is right here from this PC, I'm going to look at the details on my MacBook. And as you can see, my real-time protection is off. If I click Fix Now, is waiting for the device to respond. As soon as this machine is seen online, or if it's online now, the real-time protection will be enabled remotely from my PC here. And I can do the same on my Dell laptop. If you notice, the firewall is disabled. I can fix the issue and turn on the firewall remotely as well. Now imagine that in a normal household where maybe one of your kids is playing games, turning off the firewall for game performance, you're going to see that right here in the dashboard. You're going to be able to manage their machine remotely and keep them safe and protected. So the ability to run the remote management on these devices is a new feature in AVG Zen with 2015. This is an AVG Academy video. I hope you found installing AVG protection useful and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.